Hi everyone, welcome back into My Chamber TV where the heartbeat of the Tampa Bay community. I'm one of your hosts, Barbara Marville Kelly, and to my left is the wonderful Jean Hungville. Oh, thank welcome you. Welcome back again. What a great way to end the day. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, this is, every time we do this show featuring the Tarpon Springs Chamber, we always say, didn't we just do this? I know. It, it, the time is going by so quickly. Today is another great lineup, thanks to Jean, and yeah. it's a wonderful way to really talk to everybody about what's happening in the community. And I am absolutely thrilled to have Advent Health with Sophia Zeronius. Yep. You yep. got it? Yeah, okay. you got it. But even better, it's Advent Health North Pinellas. Thank you for that, because this is really important information. You want to listen up, and I'm, believe it or not, going to be as quiet as I can <laughs> till I can ask some questions, because I have a personal interest with my husband, as mm -hmm. I, I was telling you, not giving a lot of details and everything, but I, I want you to tell us what the foundation is all about. We know how this hospital has changed for the better. I mean, we're talking... I would give this an eight star, a 10 star, a thousand star review. So I want to turn it over to you and of course chime in my love and uh, ask any questions that you may have. Well, before Sophia starts, she's the executive director for the foundation a and oh, also yes. one of my new board members at the chamber. <gasps> really? Which, yes. Well, you're really and in it to win it, I, huh? I, I absolutely, am. I love it. And, and absolutely thrilled. And so you haven't been in that position all that long either. No, maybe a couple months? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you go, girl. Oh, yeah, she's... I'm so excited to be a part of Advent Health North Pinellas and the Chamber. Why? It's, it's, you know, I have lived in Tarpon since I was six years old. Um, I was, I guess, not really born here, but raised here. Mm -hmm. I'm now raising my incredible three children here Aww. with um, my wonderful husband. I'll say wonderful because he might be watching. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have met him at Epiphany, and he is wonderful. Okay, thank you. No, he is. He's great. And, you know, it, it's so important to have world-renowned high-level, high-quality health care in your backyard. Um, and it, it just makes such a difference when, in God forbid, an emergency or when you need care to know that you don't have to go far, to know that you can have a loved one in the hospital and you can go visit them throughout the day. It makes such a difference. And the difference with Advent Health North Pinellas is that we truly are faith-based. We work to extend the healing ministry of Christ. And that is so evident in the way we give care. It, From our nurses mm -hmm. to sitting at the bedside. Um, I recently had a friend who was in the hospital with COVID and she texted me and said, <clears throat> I spent my birthday in, 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 a, in a hospital room and it was one of the greatest birthdays ever. And I, I, I just, I wow. texted her back and I said, well, I mean, you're, you're in the hospital with COVID. And she said, it's because they came and the nurse braided my hair and brought me a cupcake and FaceTimed my mom and we Aww. got we got to sing happy birthday. Uh. So it's things like that on top of our incredible care mm. and patient care and level of expertise that we have that really makes it truly an honor to be a part of the hospital. It really does, and especially with what the last few years has mm -hmm. looked like for all of us. Now, just before the, the show, we were talking about some things that you're doing over there that hardly any hospitals are doing and I want you to touch on that. Yeah, it's, you know, it's such an exciting time to be a part of Advent Health North Pinellas and to have this caliber of hospital in our backyard. Um, we recently have done a and have implemented a new program, a couple new programs. One of them is called Aquablation and that is a minimally invasive um, prostate procedure. We are one of the only, if not the only hospital on the west coast of Florida that's doing that. That's huge. That is huge. To be huge. able to have care that's minimally invasive, that's successful for the patient is something that, you know, it, it's so important to not only the patient but the but but their family. Well, exactly. And the the thing is, sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. That's okay. I just want you to let anybody know that may be having issues with prostate or you know someone that is Explain what that is. Just, you know, let them know. Is is that for the reduction of the prostate without surgery? So I am not a doctor, although it's I okay. watch a lot of medical cool shows on TV. Um, <laughs> um, but aquablation is, it's minimally invasive. It is um, really for prostate care. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we have a great team of urologists that can, can, can really guide the yeah. patient of what's best for them and what works well for them. But we've seen some great successes with it. We have an amazing cath lab um, 
Advent Health North Pinellas recently became a heart care center. So that, that means, was one of the things I really wanted you to bring yeah. up. Yes. yes. So that means yes. that we are now stroke certified. Um, we are heart failure certified. And of course, we are cardiac certified. And so that means that if you or a loved one are having, an ep are having some sort of episode, whether you think it's a stroke, it could be a stroke, it could be um, a heart attack, we are able to care for all of that. And, and, and seconds count yes, with all of that. I mean, oh, they I, do? I will tell you both, um, to get a little personal, both my husband and my father had a stroke. And it was the care that Advent Health gave that saved them. And it was, I mean, it, to have it within two miles away from our house, we couldn't have asked for anything better. No, and that, that's what's critical. And I'm so glad that you're talking about that. There's also uh, something that you're doing with finding the right vein. Yep. So what's that called again? <laughs> they're called vein finders. The vein the finder. finder. Oh, oh, pretty simple. Okay. <laughs> but One of the amazing things that our foundation does um, is all of the money that we get from grateful patients, from community members, from local businesses that want to support the hospital, it stays right here in our hospital. So the Isn't money that, that's marvelous. It is, and it's it's not. It's I shouldn't say it's not common, but it really doesn't happen very often. Is to where we can say if you give a thousand dollars to the hospital, it's going to stay right in the hospital. Um, one of the things that we're very proud of is we have a society called the Burnett Society, and that is our. Um, just the Burnett Society? Yep. And okay. so it's actually named after Dr. Burnett, who was the first doctor at the hospital back when it was Tarpon Springs General Hospital. <laughs> oh, my. Um, and we have had members for 30-plus years, and we've had new members come on this year. And it's really just our circle of community members that really support the hospital on an annual basis. That's terrific. Um, recently, they funded about $60,000 for these vein finders. And it's so important, again, it goes back to the high level and quality of patient care and the ease of care. When you have somebody come in that their veins aren't exactly where they need to be, or they're dehydrated, or they're just a hard stick. You know, not everybody has mm -hmm. this amazing vein that a, a, a doctor or a nurse can get too easy. These are handheld little tiny pieces of equipment that can go right on the vein that allows that nurse to see where that vein is and get it to it quickly so that way they don't have to wait for a specialist to come in. Uh, and they need to do that in absolutely. order to figure out how to care for this absolutely. patient. And again, talking about time is of the essence. Just very quickly, I said before the show, I do want to give a testimonial to this hospital because my husband did have surgery last year. Dr. Raval is his urologist who is yep. also doing this aquablation. Yes for Marvelous. the prostate. So I tell you, th Dr. Raval saved my husband's life and he is thriving and striving and doing extremely well today. So I'm glad that you came on the show to share all this with, with the newness. Who would know unless you came on, yeah. on the show to yeah. talk about well, it, yeah. right? And that is something that is difficult to get out because people just take it for granted mm -hmm. until they mm -hmm. have have to go into the hospital. Exactly. And a lot of times people will say, oh, I'll put something off. And no, having this right in the mm -hmm. center of our community. Mm -hmm. I remember mm -hmm. when I first came here um, five years ago, one of the discussions was whether or not the city was going to extend the lease mm -hmm. for 30 years and types of things. I had just had surgery and had had the kind of care that you were describing um, and was handed a guardian angel when I left. Aww. And I still have that. Yeah. And it's just one of those things where it's yes. like, wow. Yes. But I had the opportunity at one of, of the outreach dinners mm -hmm. that was before COVID to get up and talk about how important this is for the community. And with me mm -hmm. being in the business side of, of, the, of the chamber, um, I'm looking at the hospital for the care, but also yeah. the number of people that are employed. It's an economic driver in our community yes. because that having that gem mm -hmm. right downtown is just phenomenal. The number of people that are employed, um, from people who do maintenance all the way up yes. through the top surgeon and then the lovely CEO. Yes. <laughs> so yeah. We employ over 700 people. Um, the majority of them live right within this area, whether it's Tarpon, Pasco, Trinity, a little bit of Plum Harbor and Dunedin. Um, and we truly have an amazing team. I mean, we- 700 in that one hospital. Yeah, we walked down the, ho down the hall and, and it was, you know, when I first came here, I, you know, everybody was like, well, who's the girl that just smiles down the hall and waves to people? That was me. <laughs> uh -huh. And everybody was so fresh and refreshing because everybody waved back and said, good morning and how are you and smiled. And, and that just shows you that, um, you know, we truly love what we do. We have a great team and I'm so blessed to be a part of it. Um, one of the big things that we've recently done in August, we opened up our brand new ER. 
Yes. We invested $30 right in the middle million of dollars yep, yes. into a brand new ER. Um, and so many of you watching may have remembered our old ER. It was about nine beds, only one private room. Um, it was original to the hospital. Mm. And Advent Health just went in and saw a need for it and invested. Um, and we now have a brand new 19 bed ER, all private rooms. Nice. We have two pediatric rooms. Um, and it's just, oh, been, and that's so it's been important. such a huge Gosh, improvement. Yeah. And yeah. what's amazing is we had this tiny little ER, right? It was maybe 9,000 square feet. And even in that small ER, we had the highest, um, I guess you could say accolades in patient safety, hygiene, outcome, nice. and satisfaction. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know the five star, area. the five that star so rankings good. that I keep hearing yes. about. Um, from your amazing mm -hmm. um, PR team that comes yeah. out of marketing um, is just astounding. Now, the lobby that's coming up, the lobby that's coming up in July, hopefully. Yep. Oh, I'm so excited about it. So lobby is tentatively opening in late summer. Um, we've had a couple delays due to just the world. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. But we are looking forward to it. And again, another amazing addition um, and just an improvement. You know, the hospital can be scary. Mm -hmm. yes. Whether you're coming mm -hmm. to visit a patient or you are coming in for a procedure. And so this is a space that will be warm and inviting and community members can come in, patients and their family members can sit and, ref and gonna reflect. Um, we've had amazing community response and support to this. I'm not surprised. Due to um, our community members and our donors, we now will have a new chapel, we'll have oh, a beautiful nice. reflection nice. lounge, nice. and in this reflection lounge will be um, this amazing painting done by nationally renowned artist Christopher Still. Nice. Um, and who is a Tarponite. Yep, who is yes. a Tarponite and an amazing human being and yes. super talented. And this painting um, is going to reflect the history of this area. Isn't and that he, nice? Uh, and he has just taken, I mean, the detail, I have been so lucky enough to go behind the scenes and see it and just... The detail and what yes. he's put into it is amazing. So it's very exciting. We could sit and talk about this hospital all day long. And I, I do want to add real quick, with less than a minute remaining, when my husband had surgery, mm -hmm. the chaplain over there, Christina, yes. was amazing. She did such a private individual prayer for us. And I just knew everything was going to be just fine. And it was, and it is. And I can't thank you enough for coming on the show and raising the awareness of the Advent Hospital and with all of the growth that is coming. Yeah. But it's the care and the emergency and the new techniques that they're doing over there. So make sure you check it out. On, just put that on your emergency list because the ER is going to be phenomenal. Hopefully you never, ever need it. But if, if a, for stroke and, victims... And ooh. if you want some more information about the foundation and mm -hmm. how you yep. can be involved, what is your phone number? So my phone number is 727-943-3651. I'm at the hospital almost every day, or actually every day except maybe Sundays. Um, and so, yeah, I would love to reach out and hear from anybody who'd like to know more. Our donors and community members are amazing, and we can't thank do what we do you. without them. Thank you so much. Thank you. And thank you. We'll be right back. Hi everyone, welcome back into my, cha my chamber TV. <laughs> We're so excited about our next guest coming up. I, I can barely talk, but I'm Barbara. You know what? You're Barbara Marvel. Who am I? Wait, am I Jean? No. I am I, Barbara Marville Kelly. Thanks for joining us. And this is Jean Hungerville, from President the CEO Extraordinaire from the Tarpon Chamber. <gasps> We have been talking way too much. You know, we need to really introduce Deb Reinhold from yes. No Naked Walls. And thank and you for I that. I love this. Well, that she got us so excited with what's going exactly. on there. 3,000 square feet and, and oh, so much fun when you go in there. But what is fun is what you're doing. And you've been there like, you've been in the business for how many years? I've been framing for 30 years, 30, mm -hmm. 31 this year. So a little bit of experience. A little bit. A little bit oh, of experience. Yes. A little bit of 
history there, yeah. But we've been um, at No Naked Walls for two years. The business has been there for 20. Right, um, okay. I've been there, well, it's a year, year and a half. And you know, January. it's so easy to get to because it's right off of 19 mm -hmm. on Ridge Road, mm -hmm. less than a mile down there, 3,000 square feet. And I know I've driven by it and it's like, I know exactly oh, where it is. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. You just have to stop in. Everybody's just got to stop in. Well, what I want you to share with our viewers is what makes it so different with your business oh. and how you're doing things. And what I really love is how you can redo old photographs that maybe yes. is not so good to take a look at or even give as a gift as a family memoir but we have a before picture right here on our desk you can see and you have the after on how you actually improved that oh yeah so t talk about that because I bet you're getting a lot of business for that alone we do uh, a lot of people have not <coughs> taken care of their pictures very well it yeah. happens to everyone sure. through no fault of their own it's just how it happens um, but like you can see in this picture uh, there's a lot of spots missing um, part of a man's face was missing um, but ah. through the power of technology, we've restored it so that he has his face back. All of the spots are gone. It's cleaned nice. up. It looks like a new picture again. Um, but you have your history back. You and have a lot your of that gets back. lost exactly. when people have to throw away old pictures because, you know, they think no. they're ruined and you can't do anything oh, with that's them while so we great. restore them. Exactly. The and you know, memories. It, Memories come in photographs, and once that memory is happening in a family mm -hmm. or whatever, right. it's gone. Yes. Unless you capture that moment in a photograph. Exactly. So to be able to restore them like that, I think that's a gift. Oh, Such and to a preserve gift. people's yes. histories yes. Is, is really important to me. Yes, people's yes. memories are very important so to me. But there's so many other things that you do there, too. Yes. I mean, we have a whole bunch of different stuff. A lot of samples. Oh. Uh, just one, jerseys. We do jerseys. We I love those that. For you. Oh, um, yay. You have here this woman, Sandra. Love her. She had these dolls, her Beatles dolls, go. since they came out. Um, and she saved them. They were in a box. And she came for Christmas last year. And she decided that she wanted to give them to her son um, as a Christmas gift. Nice. And so I only had about a week to do it. But uh, a week. Oh, oh look at the shower. Oh, yeah, no, I love boxes. this. That oh, one. That's oh, fabulous. Just, that's a little piece of the Death Talk Star. Of, Talk about memories and, mm -hmm. and keeping things precious. Yes. It is. Um, I, I really think that everyone's home should be their own little museum. Yes. It really should. Yes. Just to preserve people's memories and histories. Is it is. It is. It's wonderful to do that. To me and I just love yes. it. And well, this up here um, next to you in mm -hmm. memory of what a wonderful that's what beautiful tribute when some at someone's service. Oh yes, uh, this one we just did for a class reunion. These are everyone who have passed nice. from their class, so they will not be forgotten. Huh? Oh, that's terrific. Look at that. Oh yeah, and, and we also do them for funerals, celebrations of life. Um, Birthdays. Mm -hmm. uh, nice, very nice. Yeah. Now, yes. what what type of? Well, you just had something done within a week time. It looks like you're really right on track. Uh, we really do try to work with uh -huh. people's needs. Uh -huh. Some people really need things done quickly, um, and we can do that because I cut everything there. I do all oh. the work there. Okay. Um, so, so nothing yes. is sent out. It's all done in there. Everything is done. Now that is moldings. a that's a very very good point because if I'm dropping off my valuable historic mm -hmm. photographs that need to be restored. I don't want anything to happen, so thanks or, for mentioning or that. Or even the, the uniform that yes. we were doing. Yes. We or yes. you know, look at, I mean, look here, uh, pictures. That's the kind of thing you don't want to have lost mm -hmm. in, in shipping. No. And exactly. Be able, and to know that it's going to stay there has got to be really mm -hmm. reassuring. Right. But you've got other things that you do as well. Let's see. Oh, that's a, there we go. That's, that's the, the one. shadow upside down. It's a shadow box. This is one of my favorites. I just honoring our that. military. I just find that just Absolutely. fabulous. He brought yes. um, the customer brought in his all of his father's um, military memorabilia, and he his father made the oak frame there, and really? so we had to incorporate that into it also. Oh, nice. Those things take a little bit more time, but it's really but worth it. But it's the it. personal thing that, that mm -hmm. you... And the yeah. fact that you have the experience and you have the technology to be able to do all of this. Oh, yeah. That's everything there. Timely. And very timely. Now, what happens if I just have... A, I need something to redo a living room. And you and I don't know. I don't have any of this kind of stuff. What What do you recommend, and how do you work with something um, well like that? Well, we do have art at the store. Um, if you're looking for something, we have art on the store. We have art online. If you have pictures, 
um, on your phone, or this one actually is a customer's piece of art that we took a picture of her art and did a gallery wrap for it. So oh, nice. Like, she can give it as a gift. Yeah. Um, she can have the original, but then she can also have copies of it to sell. Nice. To yeah, look at that. It's, gifts. it's wrapped around the edges. You, you can hang it easily. It's not very and heavy. And the colors are so too. beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Our yeah. printer actually has um, three extra colors um, so that we can do really rich colored printing. Nice. Very, very oh, nice. Oh, is that, and that's a piece of equipment that's that... the beast. That is the, the, the printer. Beast. The beast. <laughs> It Look is. at that. The photos that come out of there are so crisp and colorful and crisp. That's oh, that's word. a blow dart I just did. Someone brought that back from Africa. Oh, my. Another restoration. Oh, there's oh another rest yeah. Look, Look at the, the before difference. and after. Yeah. Oh, that's really lovely. Oh, my oh, goodness. Record. Yes, a record. We have a really good music community, so I'm always framing something For to that. do with music. Oh, and there's the Memorial. class reunion that we were talking about earlier. Um, now, what is this? Oh, this uh, was a tribute to her sister who passed away. So that's her family and friends. Oh, nice. Um, and we nice. did a gallery wrap like this. See, that's what I'm talking about the, right there. That's Gorgeous. the kind of thing I need to do because I have... Um, I have naked walls. Well, then you have to come in. You yes. have to come in. You know, that picture before looked like a window. Like you're looking it right did. out the window. It Pretty. did. Now oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, Stitchery's wow. needlework. Nice. It, is, needlework. it is, a, a dying art, really, and people who put so much time and work into needlework, mm -hmm. they come and get it framed so they can pass it on to their kids. It's yes. really personal for them. I know. That is really neat. Gosh. You know, I read something on the website when I was taking a look at this, and yeah. I, have, it, I was so impressed with this comment. I've just got to read it. It was like, wow, what a surprise I was in for when popping into this shop. And then there's some other things. And then we were doing a Valentine's, they were doing a Valentine's Day craft party. Yeah. So this was recent. Um, after I picked up some great prints and frames, we stayed a little while and did some crafts. I think she was in with her daughter. Yes. And oh, I love her. Debbie, or Deb was amazing and patient, helping me find awesome frames in my budget. We came out, they all came out beautifully. She has an eye for her work. I can't wait to come back and do more work with them. I'm an artist myself, Ooh. and I have several canvases that are due for framing. Nice. With nice. that yeah, closing that comment, I went, I haven't this yeah. seen that one. Yeah. Yes, that one. To have great. an artist give such great accolades to and, what you do. And having just come out of our Fine Arts Festival, mm -hmm. I know some, they really, an artist making that comment, they really know what they're talking about. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I have, I have people come from quite quite a ways away there was a lady from Brandon that that came up just to no have kidding. me frame her things oh that is so neat. yeah well you know you're not like even doing work this is you're doing your passion you can oh, tell 30 years Absolutely. in the business yeah and there's so much beauty and art down here in Florida I can there understand is. why you're busy I'm surprised that you can you know get things done as quickly as you can we can like the, some of the shadow boxes take longer but really since since I do do everything there it really can be done whenever you need it and that's what and if you come in morning. and have no idea what to do but this I'm is my guide. That's the person. <laughs> Experience, too. And, Experience. and you probably take a look. And, and what's the process with something like this? With You take a look and say, okay, can we try it this way, this way, this way? Yeah, usually um, usually someone calls first to ask if you can do it. And, of uh -huh. course, I can. Um, and I just ask everybody to bring in whatever they think they might want in the shadow box. And we play with it. We lay things out. Um, the documents here we actually made copies of so that it would fit in a better space. Um, okay. So that's what we do. We just oh, that's a good idea. Oh, work yeah. it out because normally it would mm -hmm. have been uh, paper size, but it would have been too big to fit in the space. Sure. So there. So we just, yeah, made it smaller, restored the pictures in order to put it in the shadow box. Oh. I just love those memories. This is so great. I know that just it's them. one of those heart things. I know. Oh, I was yeah. just thinking about my I have a bunch of medals from my dad and the flag and the whole nine oh, yards. Yes. Oh yes. It's it's so personal. We keep boxes of tissues at the store. Oh, I we bet. have people oh. come in quite often. It's it's overwhelming sometimes to see yes. you know something so personal to you on display mm -hmm. and exactly. that's going to be preserved. So yes, and I can imagine you know something like that. And in, in, if it's your your parent or your your husband, mm -hmm. walk in the first time you see it, it just absolutely you would be oh, overwhelmed. Yeah. It taps into yeah. those emotional heartstrings and just brings it all forward yeah. in a good way though, because it capturing is. the memories is just what keeps that memory alive. It is. That's why I love doing what yes. I do. Yes. I love it. I love talk a little stories. bit about this one on your lap. I oh, this love was this one. Fun. And I, I, I kind of get to go on everyone's vacation with them <laughs> um, because this gentleman um, went out west and 
you purchase time and you, you get to go into the rock quarry and they give you the tools in order to chip away at the rock and then this happened to pop open and there's fossils inside of the fish. Ooh. How cool. Uh -huh. Yeah, I was, I was amazed and, and I just love, see it's just like a little museum. Yeah, it is. At his house. And it's like you, he was on vacation and he brought vacation home to you. Oh yes, oh, we, we do a lot of that. A lot of, uh, I'm doing right now, someone went to Italy and he oh. took a fantastic picture um, of St. Peter's Square. Oh. Absolutely gorgeous. Nice. And so we're doing a whole wall of pictures for him and his family. It is, I just love it. So they get to cherish that now. And tell the story. Every time they have guests over, oh, yeah. the family gets the together. The stories are the best. Yeah, I know. I love the stories. I actually framed, um, there was a woman who left Cuba in the 70s. And she left with nothing but her two kids oh, oh, and a dear. little tiny suitcase. <gasps> and oh. so we framed uh, for her children the dress that her daughter came in, <gasps> the little shirt that her son came in. And oh. then oh, oh, oh. she had uh, another son once she moved here. And she saved everything. Oh. So the shirt and the dress were all that she had of her first two kids. But the second child, everything was in that shadow box. Everything. Oh. That's adorable. Hair and all of his little wristbands from the hospital. Oh, my. It's, I just love it. Uh, I cry with them. Yeah. You can uh. tell. Well, I'll tell you, we have less than a minute remaining. I can't thank you enough for coming on my Chamber TV oh, thank you to so much. really share what you're doing in the community. And thank you for joining us to see what's available. So if you want yep. to capture those memories, these are gifts that keep on giving. And Absolutely. that is the truth. So you want to check out Deb, and she's on Ridge Road. Ridge, Ridge Road between and Congress and Regency. Oh, I know exactly where that is. You've yep. been there for a good little while. It's, it's, it's less than a mile off of 19 yeah. in Port yeah. Ritchie. Yeah. 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 So, and what's the phone number? Um, the phone number is 727 841 6948. Perfect. Marvelous. Well, yeah. thank you so much for joining there us. You go. And I know that you're going to be, your phone's going to be ringing up a storm. Yeah. I think. Uh, <laughs> I'm coming in on Saturday. Are you? Yes, I am. I, I already there. I've got oh. several several ideas that are going through Ooh, my head. There you go. Because I have naked walls. <laughs> well, we okay. need to take care of that. <laughs> well, thank you, Deb, and thank, thank you. you so we'll be right back. Welcome back into My Chamber TV, and we have Jean Hungerville that's going to talk about our next segment. How'd you like that for a bring back? Bring back? That's yeah. pretty darn good. I think so. Yes. And you are whom? 
Oh, I forgot. Who am I? <laughs> Barbara Marville Kelly. <laughs> yes. And I'm Jean Hungerville with the Tarpon Springs Chamber, and I have our third guest today. I'm really excited. This is a new business that's coming to town. This is Stumpy's Hatchet House Tarpon Springs. Yes. But not and new to the area. Not new to the area because they're already in Oldsmar. This is Brendan Wyman and Christine Boscoff. Got yes. it. Okay. Welcome in. You have a very exciting place down uh, south of us, yes. but I can't wait in my hometown. We, we should frequent your place very soon when it and opens up. What is it that you do? <laughs> so what we do is we uh, do indoor recreation sports. It's uh, axe throwing. Axe um, throwing. Or hatchet throwing, yes, as oh. Christina is going to show us. <laughs> That is she's one gonna, of our She's doing the banana hatches. demo. Uh, <laughs> this is a, um, our, our basic East Wing hatchet that we like to use in our establishments. Two pounds, three ounces, pretty lightweight. And, That's a real um, thing. That's a, a real, real hatchet. Deal. It's a real deal Pass hatchet. That over it's here. real sharp. Ooh, I want to yeah. feel this. Oh, Pass gosh. that around. Go safely, okay. So, uh, <laughs> oh, my goodness. Is there an art to actually throwing these? Yes, there is. Do you Scott? teach classes we first? We 100% yes. you do. Um, oh my goodness! Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Watch yourself so, with that. Ooh. Yeah, so but it's got ooh. a nice balance to it. It no. does. And it you just um, choon. All right, demo. You're making really, sort of, really nervous. Sort of demo. <laughs> All right, so yeah. there's two styles of throwing. Okay, we got the one-handed over the head throw. You're gonna hold it just like this. Over um, the head throw. Yeah. So basically, okay. what you're gonna do is you can bring the axe back, come above your head. Release eye level, fall through down. Oh, I th oh, because okay. I was thinking. It, well, okay, you know what I was thinking but, that it was over somebody's head that you're gonna. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, safety is paramount See? for us. Okay. Okay. She's a priority in our place. We've had no she's, accidents. I'm sorry, she's out of control today. <laughs> I, can't, I don't know what to say. I, <laughs> and then uh, we do a two-handed over the head throw. You put your non-dominant hand the bottom, put your do but dominant hand up top, and you're gonna bring it right above your head, just like this. So when you come over, you're gonna bring it just like this above your head, and release out. Eye level, fall through down. All right? So it's so all about form, it's technique, like fall. It's golf. Through. There is yes, a technique. Yes, there's a technique. And it's funny you said that the biggest thing in this sport is you don't want to flick your wrist. It's like the perfect golf swing. Mm -hmm. All right? So you oh, keep that nice, firm oh. wrist. I always tell people it's like that perfect golf swing. You don't want to turn it over. In this, you want to keep a nice, firm wrist as you're going with the hatchet. Uh -huh. And we got little tidbits. So if somebody's flicking a wrist, you put a thumb up. A thumb keeps him flicking wrist, or put a pointer finger up, it keeps him flicking wrist as well. Oh. Um, throwing a hatchet. So. so, wow. I'm in awe. I am too. Mm -hmm. That's not at all what I thought. This really is serious stuff, like a golf swing. Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah. There's, it takes a lot of form, technique, and follow through. So what made um, you open a business yeah, like this? Yeah, how'd you get into this? All right, so um, I was um, a military, by the way. This is going to be a veteran-owned, veteran-operated business. Uh, that we're going to operate Thank the one in Oldsmore that you guys been to. And well, now yeah. Southern Springs, um, one of the partners coming on, Stephen. He's going to, he's an uh, Army veteran. Um, so it's going to be, you know, double the power with the veteran-owned, veteran-operated. But so anyway, I was getting ready to retire from the military. My wife and I went up to Eatontown, New Jersey, where I'm originally from, visited my family. They're like, we're going out. You're going to have to wear closed toe shoes, being from Florida. I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> what are closed toes? Yeah. What are those? And it's, it's BYOB up there, whereas here we're going to have the beer and wine for sale, support the local craft breweries. Oh. But so we basically went up there and um, we did a two hour session and we ended up speaking with the um, actual founders at the time. They said they were talking about franchising out. It just seemed like nice. a cool thing to do, a cool huh. thing to get into. And now this is 2017. So this wasn't known at that time. Okay, wow. yeah, just five years right. ago. And that, Yes. So we just, I ended up talking to them and bought bought our franchise February of 18. And uh, we ended up opening the one in Old Smart, Old Smart. Um, in September of 19. And you've stayed open with your business? No, we closed during the COVIDs. Uh, we, okay. we were open September and we had closed down in March. In okay. August of 20, it was that close to, what do I do? Right. Sell this, okay. whatever. And then... We said to hold on and look how far we've come. We're going to be opening up another bigger, See? broader location. In Never, give up. That's Never give up. That's awesome. It is. Yes. Never give up. Now, where it's is so the true. one in Oldsmar? So it's off of um, Hillsborough Avenue, Ray Track Road. Like uh, uh, points of interest are like Tampa Bay Downs, mm -hmm. okay. uh, mm -hmm. Oldsmar Flea Market, Tampa Bay Broom Company, right off Ray Track Road. We're basically in the United Business Park. Okay. It's really a cool place. That is neat. I and didn't then, throw. I was a little nervous. Oh, yes, you were. I remember that day. <laughs> I was really <laughs> nervous that day. Then, but then in Tarpon, yes. your sign is up. You're right on the Pinellas Trail on yes. Stafford yes. Avenue. Yeah. Um, I saw that. What is the address there? 201 East Center Street, uh, Tarpon Springs, Florida. Okay, so, so it's right, right there, there on the corner of Center and Pinellas Trail. Yes. Yep. And it's beautiful location. Oh, yeah. How big is it? Easy place? to find. Um, yes, it is. It's mm -hmm. over 600 square feet. Um, okay. And then with this location, it's going to be a little different. We're going to have an um, upper mezzanine, correct? Mm -hmm. Upper mezzanine level. 
Um, so people can have stairs up. We're going to even have an elevator, elevator in there. Elevator, yeah. That's yeah, going to be cool. Fancy. Wow, um, nice. And then, um, so we're going to have a reception area. Once again, there's going to be 13 total pits in this one. The one you've been to had seven pits. This is going to be 13. And then the beauty is, too, we got approved by the city. We're going to have um, off the Pinellas Trail, we're going to have a whole bunch of, like, green turf and whatnot for people to come off the trail to get a water, a soda, a beer, hang out. We're going to have giant games, mm -hmm. uh, Jenga. Jenga. Nice. Um, Cornholes. Cornhole. Beer pong. Oh, so nice. All the games. It all the fun games. It gives everybody a reason to come out. You can bring your dog onto that. Obviously, I don't think you can bring your dog inside the venue, but you can bring them off the trail. And, and then we're also going to have a sand pit, too, for, like, the little kids that come Aww. in. Yeah, it's going to be, like, off to the side. Oh, that nice. would be neat. That would yeah. be really nice. What's the age group on that? The little ones? Oh, oh, oh the yeah. outside? Uh, yeah. Uh, any any age. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're not going to be thrown. So That's good. Outside. That's yeah. really okay. good. Very yeah. good. So, yeah. Christina, how do yes. you fit into this, and how did you get involved in this crazy business? <laughs> Well, um, so I had a baby a year ago, and I decided I wasn't going to go back to work. Um, and we frequent the stadium a lot where Tara Brennan's wife works. Okay. And Stephen, who's also uh, an owner, my boyfriend, um, okay. had his, we went to the stadium one night, and we saw a Stumpy sticker in the bathroom. And we're like, we asked Tara, what's Stumpy's? And she's like, actually we own it my husband owns it blah blah so he had his company business party there and Tara contacted Steven one day and was like where um, in downtown Newport do you think that we could open up a spot and he's like well right now there's no no spots and he's like if you find anything let me know we'll go in half just jokingly here we are <laughs> It just yeah, it be careful what you wish. Yeah, yeah. no, I'm so grateful because it, I was able to stay home with my newborn baby. And, oh, that, and isn't that wonderful? That's yeah, and, and do then, something that's fun. Yeah, and then you're part owner of this crazy hatchet business. Yeah, I couldn't be more happy. I love it. <laughs> I love great. it. I'm so, so ex excited. Ex oh, very good. That's nice. very, nice. very, very well, What good. is all of this stuff on the table? I'm looking You've got at all too. kinds of goody stuff. Good stuff. Love the shirts. Yes. So this is yeah. our swag. Um, like I said, like Christina said, that sticker, that's grill marketing at its finest, right? So we, we believe into the merchandise. So we got <laughs> Don't Tread On Me shirts, which are nine line of proof. Is this there is we go. for our veterans. Um, we have... Um, I love this this one here. Yes. Yes. So we have stickers, too, on top of that, like different ones. Um, uh, Kiss My Axe sticker, you know, hottest piece of axe. <laughs> um, there's another one. I think there's... Um, there is another uh, one. Oh, if you oh, read don't that be out. an axe hole. I, I, my, mother, my mother's not watching. It's axe hole. <laughs> <laughs> so right we live by don't be an axle we got uh um, shirt uh hats here that are uh, made by a local uh business here in oldsmar or in the oldsmar area okay um stump bucks i like to show these so when people come in you guys have such a fun time at our venue um basically these are uh five dollars off a hat or t-shirt when people hit bullseyes of that nature. Oh, no so kidding. we do oh, these that's nice. Like Ooh. Thing. Yeah. Um, coffee mugs. We go everything with the coffee mugs. I'm competitive. Mugs. I'm going to try to do that. Me. I'm going to try shot to win glasses. Them. Shot glasses. Cool. Yeah. A little bit glasses. of everything, especially for people coming from out of town. Oh. Oh, that's cute. It's what like is that soul. now? It's a. Oh, a bottle opener. Yeah, and a. No, it's a, what do you call those? A multi-tool. Multi-tool. Multi yes, a multi-tool. Multi-tool set. <laughs> <laughs> got a, a, a that a is so right cool. There. Yes, and then, and then a uh, pocket knife. Nice. We have uh, tumblers and then uh, glasses, koozies we do. So, oh, the so koozies with the, the green stuff. The camo koozies. Camo. Yes. Yes. Nice. Stuff like that. Yes. Nice. Awesome. So we got all okay. kinds of swag, merchandise for people to enjoy in while they're... Uh, I love this stuff. And then this time. this T-shirt that says, Family, Friends, Veterans, Flag, Hatchets. Yes. Love this. Marvelous. You're going to do so well in Tarpon, I'm sure. And, you know, it's one of those things where people are, have said, what is that place down across, you know, on the trail or mm -hmm. across from Tarpon Tavern? And I'm mm -hmm. thinking, what are you talking about? That's when I saw it. And so so smart to have your sign up already. Oh, yeah. Because the anticipation. Oh, yeah. They'll and be lined up. Speaking of anticipation, when before we came on the air, um, I got a call from Mark Howe, at my counterpart at the Upper Tampa Bay Chamber, who said, "Okay, SmackDown. When this opens, we are going to do a challenge." 
Tarpon Springs versus Upper Tampa Bay Chamber. Tell me the details of how this works. I'm laughing because you bet. <laughs> <laughs> so, so last night we held, we hosted a, a chamber night at our uh, venue there in Tarp in um, Oldsmar, and we had a competition. It was uh, eight teams. You know, the overall winner got a gift card. You know, uh, merchandise or of their choice. So we end up coming up with ideas. Since we're going to be in Tarpon Springs, we're going to get eight teams from the upper chamber. Upper cha uh, Tampa Chamber, and then um, the one in Tarpon Springs, and we're going to make a nice, like, uh, basic 21 scoring competition. It's where not going to be nice. It's going to be a no. smackdown. It's a smackdown. Throwdown. <laughs> yeah, have bragging rights, be able, you know. Yes. Talk trash to each other, and then we'll make it a maybe an annual or semi-annual thing. We're gonna yeah. film yeah. this. Yes, no, we gonna yeah. Yeah. absolutely. Well, one of the things that Mark and I had talked about at other times was doing a golf challenge, and you know it was kind of like, oh, I got a lukewarm. This is going to be not lukewarm at all. This is going to definitely be two two members on a team, right? Yes, eight teams. So if anybody's listening, I am definitely recruiting we will be doing this after you get open yes, yes. and when do you think you're going to be open officially uh july july, july. time frame sometime in july we're, we're shooting for um okay you know, barring any like permitting or whatever fingers issues crossed. on the rest of the way but fingers crossed we should be july so. and we'll be doing ribbon cuttings and yes, yes. we will we that we'll you get, i know that'll be so much fun that's gonna be a lot of fun what made you pick tarpon well, actually, Stephen was the one who talked about Tarpon because we were looking for a location, and he just is very familiar with the area. He grew up in the area, and um, he brought us by there. We checked it out. I said, this is going to be a fine fit for us. Well, you, and you, that location absolutely. on the trail is yes. going to be really yes. good. Amazing. Good. Yes. Because then you've got room to expand. And having the outside stuff, too, mm -hmm. is really, you're, you're going to really thrive there. Amazing. Tarpon is thriving. And making a choice to join the Tarpon Chamber as well is excellence. And this, since this gal, yeah. she's she has disrupted everything from the past <laughs> and has gone, how long has it taken? But, I mean, you've been here. I've been here five years as of the first of March. Five years? Yes. Well, yes. Yeah. But it, it is so different in Tarpon. It really is now. It yeah. is because of you. Oh, Aww. not it necessarily. There's oh, a whole lot, of, yes. whole lot of going on in Tarpon, and we just help facilitate some I of know. that. You well, know, the we businesses that have come on, because I, I, I've lived in Tarpon Springs for 26 years, but, I mean, with this chamber and all the businesses, it we really bring the awareness with my chamber yep. TV. You guys are so awesome. I, Thank I you. Know. We're going to be seeing you everywhere. So it's going to be fun. Thanks it's for coming on. Oh, yeah, one other thing you. is that you have refreshments there, too. Yes, yes, we do. So we got a lot of, uh, we're going to uh, support a lot of little craft breweries on the, and there from the local area. So we're we'll doing that. Good. Um, uh, no beer, wine. And axe throwing. And axe throwing. And axe throwing. I love oh. it. <laughs> what? you got to get involved. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks Thank a lot, you. guys. Can't wait to All hear. You're welcome. We'll be, be right, right back. back. Hi, everyone. Welcome back into My Chamber TV. I'm Barbara Marville Kelly. Thanks for joining us with me, Jean Hungerville, with the, the Tarpon Springs Chamber. Chamber of Commerce. We did it. We did it. Had to just calm down a little bit. We had to get all these interesting people off the set. Just go to you and I. I know. And the energy level just, ha, ah, flattens out yes. a little bit. We're being very zen. Yes, very zen. This is our, our, our last segment. And we have saved some of the best for last. But I got to tell you, <laughs> the business owners in Tarpon Springs are unbelievable. So I'm going to turn mm -hmm. this segment over to you because you have a lot to say. Oh, you know, a yes. couple of years ago, we didn't have too much to say when we're going through all those, you know, those challenges. But... Yes. Businesses are thriving and surviving. The events are back out in the air, and I'm going to let you tell everybody. It's amazing. We have got more stuff going on now. And, you know, three, two years, let's see, three years ago, two years ago, after I'd been at Tarpon for three years, we were getting ready to launch because I had told them it would take me three years to rebuild this chamber. Yes. And then COVID hit. 
And so for the next two years, instead of being, okay, we're quiet now, not we're going to do anything, we end up putting a lot of our events, a lot of our stuff on hold and working through COVID with all the PPP and the different loan programs mm -hmm. and helping businesses mm -hmm. market in a different way, learning how to use Zoom, all the stuff that all of us learn to do. Sure. And then we're now, as everything started to open back up this spring, we suddenly had the Fine Arts Festival, which had been on hold for two years. I felt like I almost had been holding my breath for you, two isn't years. Isn't that the truth and mm -hmm. hoping that it was going to be able to be pulled off? And so we have picked up and sort of launched as what we were planning to do three years ago. Mm -hmm. But there's a little different vibe to it now. It's in even more intense. We have had more people coming to town than we have had in for a years. Why do you we think have, that is? Oh, people were so anxious to get out. People have, we are surpassing our 2019 numbers. And wow. I will bring them with me the next time, but we're just astounded. This season, which was, you know, right after Christmas, then January, February, March, um, into the beginning of April, you was so crowded you could hardly drive in the area, but the sponge docks, people were walking down the middle of the street. You could hardly drive there. It was the best season. You that had they to have be had. beside yourself. Oh, we were seeing 120 people a day on the weekends and the days down at the sponge docks only. And up in the other office in the downtown area, we were seeing anywhere from 30 to 55 a day because we keep track of all of the numbers. And these people are coming in and they're shopping. They are enjoying our city. They're buying houses because a lot of them were in the process of moving here. Yes. They wanted to be out of the, the cold north or the north where you have to be inside um, mm -hmm. and everything's restricted and everything in Florida is open. Everything's open air. It was wonderful. Oh. So we were seeing a lot of very happy people. Oh, I just think that's fantastic. And I love to hear you talk about that too because it's my town. I've been living there for 26 years. Yep. And so what I want to do be, as, as we're getting started here... One of the new things is we have corporate sponsors now. And Advent Health North Pinellas, you just saw Sophia yes. with the foundation. Yes. But Advent Health is our platinum sponsor, the North Pinellas branch of that. Um, they have been a big supporter of ours for the last three years financially, but also um, they really have, have stepped up and they're really, you'll see them more on Chamber TV. Good, um, good. Simply because there's so much going on there. It was Dr. Langley last quarter. Now we have the um, Sophia Zerone from the foundation was on today and then um, next quarter we'll see who what's going on and how interesting that will be because there's so much there is so, um, much. so thank you Advent Health North Pinellas for your platinum sponsorship we have two financial um, supporters at the silver corporate level and that is Ameriprise Financial and Peterson thank you and Edward Jones um, Rich Lindahl and those guys are had come in as silver sponsors. I am just really, really impressed with um, the support that we are getting from some, from some of our companies. Um, one of the other things that we didn't get a little chance to talk about with Advent Health is they are getting North Pinellas. They're getting um, some local celebrities. <clears throat> um, <laughs> doing commercials for them. Oh, who would that be? <laughs> well, um, but I, I do this sort of tug and cheek. I love but it. We did a fun thing uh, Friday a, a couple of weeks ago. Um, they came in and we had planned this and they did an interview of me because I had had surgery there and went through. So stay tuned because we have a commercial um, from be, me being interviewed. It'll take a few months for it to finally be all home down and they took pictures of me walking around town um, and showing that you know the showcasing tarpon some of those pictures they said they would share with me so we can use them in our magazine and oh, on some of that's our website so great. it was a gorgeous day. you know that is a perfect testimonial for somebody that is working in the community for the community yeah. and actually using the hospital and getting the results as I did well not me personally but my husband and those are the testimonials that you can use you can really use for yourself or for loved ones and also yeah thanks for sharing that I can't wait to see it I know and they had done one with a mayor their former mayor Chris Alahuzas uh -huh. um, who had used the ER for an emergency and so they had him in his office and they were doing some other things so cool you know it, it was fun it was it was you know 
here I was on the other end yeah. of this. Yeah. And usually when I'm talking, I'm like, but I was so nervous. It was really kind of, I, I blah, 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 blah <laughs> sometimes. And they said, don't worry, just keep talking. We'll edit it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure so, it's going to be just fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. So, um, but I just, you know, they have a special place for me. I know. Um, we have 34 new members since January. Wow. And it keeps growing. Um, because of our new activities, because of our, our social media presence. Um, Russ Hilton is doing a fabulous job putting this stuff That's together. What you were saying. We have something going on every single week, sometimes a couple of times a week. Um, it used to be if it's Wednesday, it's Chamber Day in Tarpon. We've moved lunches to Monday simply because people were able to take Monday off for lunch. Um, and I'll get into some of those things. Mm -hmm. But we have two new restaurants that are coming to town or that are. Oh, one's open, one's almost open. Um, we did a ribbon, actually three. We did a ribbon cutting last week for um, the Chicago Smokehouse, which is Midwest barbecue, different than the North Carolina oh. barbecue, South Carolina barbecue, Tennessee stuff. It is a different taste. I really liked it. it really? really good. They do fabulous ribs. Um, we did the ribbon cutting on Friday at 5 o'clock, had a great time. By the time I left an hour later, the place was packed. Oh. I'm not surprised. Where is it? It is in um, the Ace Hardware Shopping Center. I don't remember. Oh, I know where it is. Um, on um, Alternate 19 South. Yep, I know um, exactly where it is. And so it's right in there. The old Copper Mule is what it used to be. And they, um, it's the, the John who owns it is um, you know, too busy to come on Chamber TV, but he's been in the restaurant business before, so he knows oh, what he's doing. Oh, that's great. And it's really good stuff. We also have... Um, another one that is um, just, it's been sort of a soft opening. Um, it's a Japanese hibachi place. Ooh. And it's also on Alt 19. They are where the old Mama Maria's used to be. Mm -hmm. It's halfway between the sponge docks and downtown on the west side. And it's tucked in there. I had dinner there on Saturday night. Mm. The hibachi yeah. is the hibachi and the seasonings and everything is oh, just nice. really delicious. My husband and I would love that. Yes, and they also have sushi in there as well. Nice. Um, so I had a salmon and s salmon and steak um, with the vegetables. Everything was just absolutely fabulous. Um, and then we have another one coming, Ven Ven Venezia Italian. On the, and it's on the docks. It's Ooh. down on Athens Street, and it is a couple who also have been in the restaurant business before. Um, parking's going to be a little bit of a challenge, but you can walk to it very easily. And but it's, it's nice to walk around. Tuck, tucked yeah. up on Athens Street, and it'll be Italian. Mm. So that one is coming. So stay Italian in Greek town. I know. <laughs> I, it's we were great laughing though, right? about this because that gives an extra little flavor. Yeah. Yep, it and does. And it's being open arms. It's just going to be, and they they are going to be open for breakfast, which is wonderful oh. with our boaters because yeah. they oh, come in. Oh, that's right. Yep. Yeah. So, Perfect. Anyway, we've got those things coming on. We've got ribbon cuttings coming on with, um, and all kinds of, uh, let me quick run through the events. If it's Wednesday, it's Tarpon. Yep. Um, the first of the month is Good Morning Tarpon, and we had that this morning. That was fabulous. We moved it to the chamber to sort of mix things up. We had it at IHOP for a couple of years, and so now we've moved to the Chamber Coffee and Donuts, and we've played some games. And I'm not going to tell you what it was, because it was hysterical. I bet. What time was Think that? Think of me with a munchkin voice after I inhaled a little bit of, of, of the balloon air. <gasps> Oh, it was geez. so funny. People don't used to sing me do that. So <laughs> that was with coffee and donuts. So give me caffeine with that. Um, and then we have um, coming up the um, next Monday will be our chamber lunch. And that's going to be at the Chicago um, Smokehouse. And that will be a networking rather than a lunch and learn. Um, we have property partners, which is one of our new things. It's the one that where if you're interested in real estate or, you, or something to do with real estate, if you're a contractor, if you're a handyman, you're a lender, um, um, you have gifts. This is where you want to be on Tuesday afternoon at the Wine Society. And that is called Property Partners. That's a new one. It's 3 o'clock mm. on Tuesday afternoons, the third Tuesday of the month. Um, Business and Bacon Bits, Johnny Grits will be on the 18th. We have our um, coming up Business Awards Celebration. This is our annual and this businesses of the year, nonprofit of the year, 
we haven't been able to do this in a couple of years. Mm -hmm. So we um, have businesses that their mission and st uh, the mission and stability of business and the business practices is really important. These are part of the nomination process. Innovation of product or service offered, active member of the community and leadership role of owner and the staff in civic activities. That's one of the important things. What else do they do to give back to the community? And gives generously of themselves and their staff on in time and resources to the community and the chamber. So we've had some fabulous, fabulous businesses. Last year, the large business, it was large, small, and medium. Um, the um, the under the small businesses are under ten employees, and so and that one was Pineapple Placements. She's a one-person shop who um, does a fabulous job. Didn't we have them here? Yes, you I had, so. had Amber here. Um, the medium business, which is ten to twenty employees, um, was Anytime Fitness, ah, Tarpon Springs. Good. The large business with over twenty employees has seven hundred employees. Advent Health North Pinellas was our large business of the year two years ago. But then we will, then we, ch and then our nonprofit of the year um, for that was, um, I rem I'm trying to remember, oh, was the Women's Club of Tarpon Springs. And we didn't realize how much they had have given over the 100 plus years that they've been around. I think they've been on the show too. Yes, we yes. have had them it's on the show. It's been a little while, but I remember yes. them. They, they were had, phenomenal. The, the Women's Club, Greater Women's Club, mm -hmm. um, was our nonprofit of the year. Then we have an overall business of the year that gets the big, big trophy, and that was Anytime Fitness, oh, um, who, that's who great. bought a building, redone it, and had put it in, in it's in a yeah, section. Yeah, they're in a different location now. They are in a bigger, yeah. different location. It's really good stuff. That's great. So we are looking for nominations for that. That is going to be um, uh, Wednesday, May 25th. If you're interested in nominating someone or nominating yourself, please give us a call at the chamber, 727-937-6109, and we will hook you up with some forms. Always hooking up. That's what you do That's best. That's what we do best. And thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. And I thank you for joining us as well. You do such a great job with a great lineup. Oh, Take care. Thank you. Be safe. Bye-bye.